Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars 2019 Escape Pod vs. Dewback Microfighters with 177 pieces, two minifigures, or three if you count R2-D2, and it retails for $20 in the United States. Thanks to Ash and Flash for picking this up for me from Canada, and now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is the Stormtrooper of this set. He's the only exclusive character in the set because he does use the new helmet piece with this dirt printing on it, which is perfect for the scene, of course. And he has the same printing on his torso and legs as last year's Tatooine Stormtroopers. Other than that, he has this back attachment, which uses the neck attachment with the one by two stud formation. And he also has a pauldron as well. But if you remove all the stuff around the neck, you can see his back torso printing. And of course, what face does he have underneath? Well, what do you think? It's the angry clone face, even though yes, I know stormtroopers aren't clones, but you get the point. And here he is with his weapons and his viewer. There's C-3PO, which is the same old, same old. I just want side arm and leg printing. Please, Lego, please. I get it, it's budget, budget, budget. And if it was made there, it'd probably be produced in China. I don't know, something, something, something. But I'm just tired of this version of C-3PO when they released such a cool version for The Force Awakens as a promotional poly bag in 2015. And finally, we have R2-D2, another reprint of an older version. But I have to say, the printing on the top dome piece is actually really good this time around. Usually it's slanted or whatnot, but I don't find much of a flaw with it this time around. So hopefully they improved just the printing process of these. So for the builds, let's take a look at the Dewback first. So here is the Dewback. I love this dude. Get it? Dude. Do. Dewback. Ha ha ha. This front head can be moved all around because it is on a miniature bowl joint. I love this printed one by one eye, which is new. So that is very useful for people who want to make mocks and such with different eyes than just those Mixel eyes we've been using for a while. Also, this tail is on a miniature bowl joint, so you could rotate that around. The feet are on one by two jumpers, so you could put them in different positions as you like, which is good for display. The legs themselves cannot be moved, however. The sides have a clip for a blaster if you'd like, and also this clip right here, which you could probably put the scanner piece on there if you don't wanna make the Stormtrooper hold it. And the Stormtrooper itself is sitting on these one by three jumpers. So if you wanna put the minifigure on there, it fits on pretty well, but that is it for this little guy. Let's take a look at the second build. There's the droid escape pod, which is the second micro fighter. And I love some of the pieces they use on here for some greebling. We have this roller skate piece on the side, which just adds a little bit of detailing. This whole back engine uses a bunch of different pieces to illustrate what they have in the bigger versions that I'm so used to, because it's actually the original droid escape pod was one of my first Lego sets. And you have enough room in this front cockpit to have one minifigure sitting down, as well as R2-D2 attached via a one by two jumper. So he just kind of is plopped right in the middle right there and put your C-3PO in the front. But there's not too much else going on here. It actually has a flat bottom so that you could make it stand on whatever floor or ground you're playing around with it in. But as it for this micro fighter, let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box uses a $20 box size, or previously it was the $15 box size, but I guess we've moved on from that. There are two instructions, one for each micro fighter. This second one right here has an ad of the January wave of sets. So overall, this is an adorable set. You get it, adorable, but there's a do back. Well, really the do back is probably my favorite part of the set but also that exclusive Stormtrooper is a nice addition, considering we just got some of that uh, Tatooine Sand Troopers in the last Star Wars wave, and then in the wave before that, but uh, not with this updated helmet. Just the builds on this Dewback are so clever, and then the builds for this Escape Pod are fine, I guess. I mean, I like how they make this micro scale and the pieces they use for that. The R2-D2 and the C-3PO is, again, a very common set of figures, and they still don't have the side arm printing and leg printing for that guy, but still, it's not a big deal. So I'd rate this one a B-plus overall. Some really nice builds for the micro builds, and then the minifigure selections, pretty good. I like the Stormtrooper especially. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.